All right, good morning from Kyoto Station. Uh, in my never-ending quest to take a bunch of Japanese trains I've never taken, today I'm taking a train called Super Hakuto from here in Kyoto all the way to Kurayoshi. Uh, first, I gotta buy the tickets and the ticket office is back here. Super Hakuto Kurayoshi Mare Arimaska. Uh, ジュー席。ああ、ジュー席。ああ、ジュー席。ああ、ジュー席。ああ、ジュー席。ああ、ジュー席。ああ、ジュー席。ああ、ジュー席。ああ、ジュー席。ああ、ジュー席。ああ、
do not get that on every train here. So that's really cool. I can plug in my old iPhone to get my B-roll out the window. Got a wooden uh, armrest here. Wooden armrest here that goes up and down. And there's reclining. Not bad. So we already left Kyoto Prefecture really quickly. We're in Osaka Prefecture now. We have two stops only in Osaka Prefecture. Shinosaka. Hello. New friends. Shinosaka and Osaka, and then we pretty much quickly leave Osaka Prefecture. So most of the trip is in Hyogo, and a little bit in Okayama Prefecture, and then Totori Prefecture. So Hyogo, Okayama, Totori. The first letters of those are H, O, and T. So this diesel train is called HOT 7000 because of those three prefectures. There's the usual electronic sign at the end of the train over here. There's a monitor, a live camera feed out the front window. They claim to have free Wi-Fi available on board. When I tried it, the network was there and it seemed to connect, but it wasn't stable. I'll try again later with better results. Okay, we actually just left Osaka and we are three minutes late. We left late to begin with, so we're still three minutes late. Um, I wonder, this being the fastest limited express in Japan, I wonder if they're going to be able to make that up somewhere in the middle of Hyogo Prefecture. Maybe, maybe gun the motor a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right after leaving Himeji, when we turn north, two things happen. First, it's going to be lunchtime for me. Second is I hope that there are going to be a lot of clouds and a lot of mist all over the mountains. That is kind of the goal for today. So lunch definitely, misty clouds, hopefully. Actually, I see a few right here now, so it bodes well. Just in case you're technically curious, the actual video feed was pretty smooth in real life, but it was a different frame rate than my camera, so it came out jerky here. And yesterday's rain had returned. So there's been a lot of rain in the last day or so, last 24 hours. It made a lot of the train lines around here late. Maybe that's why this one is late. Also odd is that this morning in Osaka, there's a loop train line that goes around Osaka in both directions. Uh, it was completely shut down because in one station somebody had an accident, which usually means somebody jumped on purpose in front of the train. Um, so it's back now, it's running now, but it's still all delayed, and that really screwed things up in Osaka. Um, so I always think it's odd that they put these monitors in some trains, these forward monitors. I'm glad they do, but can you imagine if that happened while you were watching? Oof. We just passed the big clock that is uh, Japan's official time and we got to Akashi Station and when we left we were only two minutes late. So we've made up one minute. I guess it's embarrassing to have a late train in Japan anyway, but especially in the shadow of the official time clock of all of Japan. So the driver's doing his best. Okay, we just left Himeji Station. We're going to be turning north now to cut across Honshu Island, go up to the Japan Sea, through the mountains, the hopefully misty mountains. Um, 
Oh, uh, when we left Himeji, we were just not even a minute late, just a, you know, half a minute late. So he's done it. And now it is lunchtime. Let me show you what I got for lunch. Okay, got little uh, sushi roll thingies with egg and crab or something in them. I'm not even sure what. Some prits, pretzel sticks, some uh, raw vegetables and delicious green tea. If you're counting carbs, the uh, sushi things, because of the rice, have about 74 grams, about 20 grams in here, nothing in here really. Now we begin. Little bits of uh, vegetable and crab and cucumber and mayonnaise. So the landscape here is getting a little bit flat because we're coming in from the coast. How rude of me to talk with my mouth full. And then we're going to hit the mountains pretty soon and it'll be mostly mountains until we get to the coast. station exactly on time. Mm, that was tasty. Okay, I'm going to walk around the train a little bit. I want to see the facilities, like the bathroom and stuff. I want to see how many people are on the train because there's not that many in this car and there are quite a few of these trains, like seven or eight a day, they go back and forth. I don't really understand why there's that many of this service because there doesn't seem to be that many people going to Totori or Kureyoshi. So I'm going to see how many people are on the train, especially the uh, unreserved seats in the front. Those might be more sold out. And I want to see if I can get to the very, very front of the train and get a, a natural live view with my own phone out the front. Not just this monitor, but the actual thing. So let's go check out the rest of the train. I assume leaving all my stuff unattended would be no problem. This is a train with few people in rural Japan, after all. And besides, who would want my iPhone 6 and used insulin pins? Okay, this is pretty swank. I mean, it's kind of small and not well lit, but... There's a, you know, the toilet, full toilet with all of the complicated, like, uh, bidet controls and all that stuff. It's a little sign to remind you, did you lock the door when you came in? Uh, there's a baby changing table, a little simple sink, and a place to stick a baby if you don't want to change it. Again, handles to hold on to because it is a train. Over here, a really cool sink. We've got a temperature control even. And again, no towels. Maybe it just doesn't take much to excite me, but after making a nuisance of myself and walking through the unreserved seat car number two, I came upon something that I'm always thrilled to encounter on a train. Hey, look what they have here! So look what they have here on this train, a vending machine. A water, tea, cookery sweat, which is like Gatorade or something. Various uh, milk tea, ion water, and some coffees. 
I'm gonna buy me a coffee on the way back. The front car with its cheap unreserved seats had virtually no people in it. And look at the front view. I'd call this a definite improvement over my seat and it would have been about $25 cheaper. While I'm wandering through the train, annoying everybody, let me remind you that uh, you can, here, we'll do it here. You can get early access to my new videos by subscribing to my free email newsletter, and you can get even earlier access, way earlier, by supporting me on Patreon. So there are links in the description here. Now where's that coffee? I tore myself away from the attractive green mountains everywhere to try the onboard Wi-Fi again. And it worked. It even worked in long tunnels. One point for the Super Hakuto. Check it out, it's us. It's the other Super Hakuto going the other way here at Chizu Station. Happens to be sitting here on the same platform at the same time. Our brothers from another station. Well, we just left Totori, which is the by far the biggest city in Totori Prefecture, and uh, is pretty much the main stop on this train line. As I suspected, a lot of people got off at Totori. And as I also mentioned earlier, I've never even heard of Kurayoshi, which is the final stop here. I never heard of it before, like a few days ago, when I started planning this trip. Um, so I didn't think many people were going to be going there. I have the car all to myself now. So, for now, we're going to be hitting the um, Japan Sea coast. We're going to turn west and go along that. So hopefully out my window I'll be able to see nice sunny views of the Japan Sea a little bit. Um, so it's about half an hour until we get to Kurayoshi. It's actually hard to find good views of the sea on this part of the line. Mostly it's tantalizing glimpses somewhere beyond the human infrastructure and thick plants just outside the train. Every now and then though, you get lucky.
We arrived right on time, but because we left Kyoto late, that means I was actually on board the Super Hakuto for five minutes shorter than planned. Okay, we are here in Kudayoshi. We arrived on time. Of course we arrived on time. Uh, it's cloudy here, but it's not raining. The ride was great. I really, I really, really like those wooden seats. Uh, I like the speed of it. I like all of the scenery in central Hyogo Prefecture. Right up there, next stop, 400 kilometers is North Korea. But I'm not going there. I'm going this way to find my hotel. I asked for an upper floor room. It's like a six story building. I'm hoping I can see like cool mountains from the window. I'm not sure, but I'll go check on that. All right, this is the life here in Kudayoshi, ensconced in my fourth floor room in the Arc 21 Hotel. Got a view to the west here of kind of a mountain ridge. And I'm gonna go explore Kudayoshi. There's some really, really cool things to see here in Kudayoshi. I'll do that in the next video, probably tomorrow when I wake up here. So thanks for coming on the ride with me. Cheers, see you next time. <laughs>